Welcome to Mosey's Tips and Tricks Tuesday. Woohoo! So today I'm going to share with you a little tip and trick that has to do with lice, fleas, and ticks. All those sort of little pesky, annoying little bugs that seem to come out, you know, either in school or just around this time of year. Um, I know in my neighborhood, it is coming up on tick season. And so I just want to share this one little hack that I use to help keep the ticks, the fleas, and when lice is going around, the lice down. So here we go. If you're interested in that, stick around. that since we have started homeschooling this last August and we have not been at public school, none of my, of my kids have gotten lice. They got lice last year and the year before a couple of times. It just seemed to go around the school a couple of times and my poor daughter got it every single time and she had long hair. We had to deal with that. So uh, anyway, this trick I'm about to to tell you guys it's so easy it's ridiculous um if you're dealing with lice it is something that really helps just keep those little pesky buggers from moving into your hair when you're taking the lice out of your kids hair so i remember pulling you know going through her hair with the comb after the treatment and everything and then looking down at my pregnant belly my belly was huge because I was pregnant with this little baby. And uh, I looked down at my shirt and there were lice crawling on my pregnant belly, on the shirt covering my pregnant belly. It was like a, a nice little lice, louse shelf, little louse catch-all shelf. So awesome. Anyway, so that's when I came upon this trick and we have been using it ever since. Um, like I said, we haven't had lice at all this year. It's so awesome. I'm really hoping that, uh, we don't, <laughs> that maybe it was sort of, um, just something that happened, you know, at school with all the other kids and all the other furniture and all the other jackets and hats and coats and scarves and all that good stuff that lice like to transport themselves on. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> uh, anyway, what was I saying? So I'm really crossing my fingers that we're not going to have to deal with this. But this tick, this tick, <laughs> this tip can help you not only when you're dealing with lice in your household, um, but it can also help if you have pets that bring in fleas and ticks. So we have cat and a dog and we are constantly battling fleas and ticks. And yes, we do use flea medicine, but inevitably there's always some, you know, time when you might find one on you here or there, whatever. They just start to multiply outside and they just start to bring them in, especially ticks. So what we do, this is a little tip, uh, besides like the basic stuff, like grooming your animals and brushing them and applying the the flea medicine or flea baths or whatever you feel comfortable doing with your animals. This is a little tip that we use. Okay, so I better get to it, right? Okay, share the tip already, mom. All right, here we go. Hey guys, so my tip here is a lint brush. I know it seems so obvious, right? But um, not a lot of people seem to use this trick, so I just want to share it with you guys because it is so effective. So this is the kind I use, Scotch-Brite, and this is a refillable lint roller. So you can just pop this roll right off the handle and then buy refill so you don't have to um, throw away a handle so it makes less waste. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to use this pillow for my demonstration. This is the pillow that I got in my thrift store haul. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. I'll link to it below. Um, that was really fun. Okay, so I'm just going to turn it over 
for this. And what I'm going to do is just sprinkle a little bit of pepper. My handy dandy thing here for this demonstration. We're just going to put some pepper on there. And then we're going to lint roll it off. So let me unroll this. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see really well. Probably not because the window is so bright. I'm just going to unroll this lint roller here. And then I'm just going to roll it across the pillow. So I'll bring the camera over. Okay, so I brought the camera over. So you just, you're going to just roll the lint brush across and pick up the pepper, you know, or the pesky little pest you're dealing with. Um, and then when your lint brush gets full, like this one is now full, it picked up all that pepper. But you could see how it could pick up uh, all the lice, their eggs, fleas, fleas, eggs, um, and ticks would just stick right to this. So I'm going to go ahead and change the roll. Okay, so to change the roll on the lint roller, you guys probably already know this, but you just pick up the little edge here and then you just roll it around and I just fold it as I'm going so that it keeps it all contained whatever I've picked up and then once you get to the little perforated line you just tear it off and then we can continue to lint roll our pillow okay so now we're just going to continue to lint roll the pillow until we get all of the pepper off Just like we would if we were trying to prevent any sort of pest. And it just picks it up really nice. Okay, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching my first Tip Tuesday episode ever with the lint brush. Woohoo! All right. So hopefully that will be helpful for you guys. Hopefully you won't have to deal with any of those pests anyway. But if you do end up having to deal with lice, fleas, ticks, or anything like that, Maybe this will help you guys out and help prevent any of those pesky little eggs from hatching and you won't have that whole pregnant belly covered in lice experience like I had. Woo! That was not fun. That was really creepy crawly. Like, you know when you get the creepy crawlies when you see a spider or something? Well, that was really creepy crawly. I got major creepy crawlies um, after that. I think I had to go take a shower. I mean, I was just kind of freaking out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like share, and subscribe to my channel. All right, we're going to be doing this every Tuesday, so stick around.